Operators can only operate MOOPs that they are authorized, trained, and have been familiarized to operate. Familiarization must occur with each unit that will be operated prior to use, during training, and inspection. Operators must be familiar with where the operation manuals are stored on the device so they can be used as a reference for familiarization. To minimize risk, the operator must understand the purpose and function of the controls specific to the model MOOP that they will be operating. MOOP operators must ensure that all occupants of a platform have a basic level of knowledge to work safely, which includes any site-specific work procedures. An operator in training must operate the MOOP under the direction of a qualified person for a sufficient period of time to demonstrate proficiency in the actual operation of the device. An evaluation of the operator must also be conducted by a qualified person to verify the operator's competence. Occupants must understand the requirement to use fall protection and the location of fall protection anchors on a Group B device. They need to understand how their actions can affect the stability of the unit. The occupant must be made aware of the manufacturer's warnings and instructions in addition to following site-specific procedures related to the operation of the device. Occupants must also be aware of the hazards related to the task and how to avoid the risk. At least one of the occupants must be provided with the knowledge for operating the controls in an emergency, such as emergency shutdown and for lowering procedures for the device if the operator is unable.